Okay, hi there guys, and uh, we're back in with um, a quick electrical check video. Um, this is very simple and straightforward, it's basically a check to make sure that the charging system is working correctly, that the reg rec, which is this unit here, um, originally it had two separate units, a regulator and a rectifier, uh, but these can be replaced with the later combined unit, which is actually cheaper overall because it's, it's about the cost of, of each one individually, um, uh, to make sure that this is providing the correct voltage to the battery, which is enough to provide charge and power the rest of the system, but not so much that it will fry the battery and boil it dry. So, um, checking the regulator output is as simple as it is on any other bike, but what we need to do as well is check the alternator uh, generator output, which is, sits in here in an oil bath with the uh, the primary chain and what have you. And um, it has this wire coming out here, leading up here and into the loom. It has four wires coming out of this, Two feed the AC circuit for the headlight and this is the reason that your headlight will not work with the ignition on but the engine not running because it's fed by alternating current so the generator needs to be running for the headlight to power up. Um, so you, um, you also have two violet wires which can possibly see down there if I can kind of scoot in a wee bit. Uh, two violet wires at the bottom feeding these bottom plugs and this is your uh, your output to the regulator rectifier um, and just sort of scoot down this side and you can see where that comes into the loom hopefully. Um, you see this this bundle of wires hiding behind the airbox here and you'll notice that those two are violet and then you've got the red or the orange and yellow which are the AC wires which go to a separate rectifier unit for the headlight which sits behind that one, a little black unit. Um, so the wire comes out here into these bullet connectors underneath here if I can get that in focus for you. There you go. Up into the loom and then that feeds back to the reg rec and uh, does its magical electricery business and goes all the way around the frame engine fuel tank wheels and wherever else these magical electrical things go. Uh, as you can tell I'm not an electrician and um, and eventually it gets to the bit that you want it to get to and it does its thing. But what I do know is how to check to make sure that these are providing the correct voltage. So I'm just going to go through that. Now you can either disconnect the bullet connectors where I showed you there and connect your multimeter probes which look like this. Uh, mine are slightly bent because the ones got jammed in something. I tried to slam a bonnet on them or something, I seem to recall. But uh, um, So you can connect them into those directly or, which I find is easier, is you can just undo this little plug here and touch your probes to the bottom two violet wires, or the terminals rather. Um, and you do this with the engine running. Now what should happen is on uh, around half revs you should be getting above 30 volts coming out of the generator. On AC uh, it's important that you need to set your, your multimeter must have an AC setting. Uh, as you can see here all this is DC and this here is AC. Now I've only got a choice of 600 and 200 volts AC. So obviously if I put that on the 200 volts... That's how you check the output from the alternator. If you've verified that that's giving the correct output and it's not punting out a lower voltage, which means that you've got a problem with one of your windings or with the alternator itself or with the air gap or something similar, the next step is to, uh, is to plug it back in and check your output because you have an input into the reg rec and you have an output which goes to your battery terminals. So you can either Check that um, on the reg rec itself, plugging your probes into the back of the plug socket. Or alternatively, you can just touch your probe to the battery terminals, uh, to the negative and the positive terminals, and see what you're getting. And on approximately half revs again, uh, as you were testing for the output from this, you should be getting somewhere typically between 13.5 and 14.7 volts. However, I've found uh, on this that um, that it's it's not uncommon for it to reach about 15 without doing the battery any harm and I think it's just because it's a slightly more rudimentary system than most sort of modern JAP systems that you're used to. So without further ado I will get that set up, I'll get the bike fired up and I'll just show you that. 
I tend to find that probes from electrical testers fit better into the back of the socket. It makes no difference whether it's back or front because ultimately it's just touching those probes. But I find that they fit better into the back, so um, something worth considering. So fuel on and we'll get the bike fired up. as it were so as you can see we'll plug that back together as you can see that was rising over 30 volts ec as you can see on the little dial there uh some meters are a bit fancier than this uh, this is quite an old thing i've had for oof, ages now some meters are a bit fancier and you've got a much more a much bigger range to choose from but as long as you can get an ac volts it doesn't really matter next thing to do is flip this to um your volts dc um so appropriate for a vehicle which would be 20 in this case and then the next thing I'm going to do is check the output at the battery terminals. As you can see there, we've got a 12.7 odd, which is uh, yeah, pretty okay as these things go. So that's set my mind at rest with regards to the charging system. I know that the alternator is kicking out what it should. I know that the regulator rectifier is kicking out what it should, or near enough. Um, so uh, it's most definitely my battery that's uh, that's past its best. And um, fortunately, it's a relatively small battery unit, and they're not particularly expensive either. So, um, so yes, a new battery, and that will be. Uh, That'll be good to chug along. So what I can do now is get everything, uh, double check everything over, get it all nipped up nice and tight. Um, a few little bits of cleaning up. I had the chain off and boiled that in chain grease uh, yesterday. Um, now that's a bit of a lost art, so I think at some point I might actually do a video on that uh, using the, uh, the tin of chain grease. Uh, I hope you found this useful and uh, again thank you for watching. If you like this video, um, Please share, rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it, anyone you think it might be useful for. Um, and we'll see you in the next video.